Welcome back to Stray. I ended my last recording session up there at the window, but as the safe game put me all the way back into the flat of Clementine, I decided to look if we missed something. And uh, of course we did miss some memories. I already looked around a bit so that we don't have to search for them endlessly while recording. And uh, these are the ones. That one I found, this one I found, this one I didn't, and uh, that one I found. And the last one I think looks as if it would be in the bar. So, of course, I did not find that because we find it when we proceed the game. So, let's check them out real quick. One. Oh no, we have to be up here. That's why I started up here. Get up there. One is in that direction. We can climb to that balcony here. Whoops. <laughs> and it's right here. This spot is nice. But I wouldn't give to actually feel the softness of the pillows or the taste of a cold drink. This drone is useful, but I miss having my own body. I miss feeling. I even miss hurting and being hungry. I know this isn't helping, but what if we stayed just a little longer? Thanks for listening. I'm ready now. It's a purring spot. Let's take a nap. I like these places. That's so cool. We are just doing what cat does. And here's a bucket lift. Very convenient. That's how I found that spot, by the way. I saw the bucket from up there. And I thought, there must be something. And now what I also did recognize is that somebody is sitting here. I didn't talk to him yet, so let's meet him. Jameston, you have no business here. Unless you want your legs replaced by something more fancy. But you don't, so get lost. Oh, that, that wasn't too pleasant. What again? Are you working for the Sentinels? I said get lost. Don't be so rude. <laughs> okay. I think we could scratch on that door. Or did we? We could scratch on the door above, right? So will that trigger something? I doubt it highly. We can do it again. I don't know what the downstairs neighbors are up to. I keep hearing buzzsaw and hammer noises. It's a robot surgery. <laughs> hmm. I thought maybe we could enter somewhere. That's another way to get to the window, I suppose, right? Just follow, yeah. That's it. Okay. So, we do not go to the bar yet. go through here. We talked to him already in the last episode. Because the last memory that I can't find looks like a dark place. Or maybe we can go up there. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your left cat! Oh! That is so cool! <laughs> oh! 
Oh man! <laughs> we don't get music though, just city noises. Which is okay. There's the music. What is the bush? Okay. Very cool. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> now can we can we jump up there? That's something I didn't try yet. Oh we can. Ah, interesting. But what does that help us? We can continue here. And that's it. Although up there normally the lights kinda lead us, right? Oh, don't jump down. So there's another lit balcony. Maybe if you jump on that sign. I tried one more time. On that sign? Can I? No, 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 no! <laughs> so we cannot jump. Ah, yeah, there are the bird things, but we could jump on that. Sometimes it seems we can use jumps or, or things to jump on, but it's not. Hmm. Up there is also bright light. And this there that um, walking plank looks also accessible. But let's go to the places I know. No, not the head guy. We want to go into the barber shop. And in here, first I think I never talked to the head, the actual head, Slippy. Ow! Huh? That's a weird feeling. Uh, what's that weird feeling? <laughs> <laughs> I talked to him though. <laughs> he lost his head about it. And then we can. No, not get out. We can get out here. Done. And there's a shelf where we can push down paint. <laughs> That's how I found that. <laughs> and there's a memory. The barbershop was a social hub where people would gather, talk, tell jokes, share secrets. It was a fun place. Even after the humans were gone to the companions were gone, the companions kept the shop going. Turns out hair is not a necessary ingredient for a successful barbershop. <laughs> And there's also a, an arrow. So they do lead us, kinda. You can find them. If uh, you look at your environment. Do we see an arrow here, maybe? No. I mean, yes. There's a huge arrow there. So, I need to try that one more time. <laughs> If we follow the arrow, can we then jump up? No. We cannot jump on the arrow. Okay, that is a misleading one. You might not find all of them then. Let's see more arrows or stuff. I mean, it points into the bar, right? So, yeah. But the next one that I did find is right here. Because the 
sentinels opened their police station and there's a memory in here. The sentinels, they were meant to protect people, fighting crime and maintaining order. But as life became harder in the city and groups started to rise up, the sentinels quickly became the hounds of the powerful. They were the perfect tool to keep the city under control, obedient, unquestioning, tireless. Even after the end of humans, they continued to exert their control. Always on duty, relentless. Now that one last There's something up there. That one last memory. Is it that palm tree up there? I see no way I could reach that. Because there is or it, it seems to be right, it seems to be in a dark place. And it might be a wall, but then there is a screen and maybe cables in the background, but I'm not so sure about that. It's rather hmm, like an orange darkness, not like the dark darkness, like with these lights here, something like this. There's no screen. Oh, these are open. I I don't know, I can't find it. Let's get into the nightclub. I think it was shortest to go up here, right? Here, you want to party with us? Here, jump in and go get a drink. Ooh, we're in. We're in the club. Who are you? Oh, that's Alex. Cool. There's a screen here. That's nice. <laughs> Hi there. Whew, this club sucks. When I tried to go to that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Me, can you believe it? Frip. <laughs> so I stole this lever, just for the kicks. If you get me a drink, I'll give you this lever. This silly lever. I don't need it, and I don't want to be caught in it. Oh, he's got a lever that we need. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. We have to open the door then. Okay, so we need to get him a drink. A drink. Hula. Give it to the left, give it to the right. Beep, pop, sweep, smooth. It's called the Zigima dance. Yeah. You do the moves. Hi, DJ. DJ Metzi. Hi everybody, DJ Metzi here. Let's get the party started. The first song has been requested by our very questionable friend, Laser. Why is he a questionable friend? <laughs> oh, oh, I can do something up there. Let me, let me up. Oh yeah. Okay, oh, can I scratch? No. So we have to get him away to, to be the DJ. Everybody put your hands up in the air! I want you to destroy that dance floor! Oh goodness. They even have 
about the stripper. Ah, here I need the lever. Lever? Lever? Whatever. Oh, there is one. It turns off the holograms and the people will get- Oh, look at that mask! People will get angry. Viv, you like my mask? I made it myself. It's actually pretty cool. It jams the sentinel scans and it looks cool. You're right. Can I have one? Please? We have cat moves. There's a child. Anna, I paid extra to get tonight's dance moves from the bouncer. He's the one programming the holograms in his spare time. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Smash those bottles. They can't drink anyways, otherwise they would corrode their circuits. Oh, right, we need a drink. That. Hey there. Drinking machine oil. We can steal. Nobody saw that. Uh. No! Wait, what? Uh. Can I go back? Wait, what? When I was a human, my friend and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences the next morning. Yeah, know that, been there. It felt good to find joy, despite the unlivable surface. And the underground living conditions becoming more and more squalid. And the capitalistic greed of companies like Nicocor. And the police state created by the Sentinels. Now, I remember why we were doing that. Oh, that's that. So yeah, I'm now I'm pretty sure we missed a memory up there. Although... Yeah, that's the one. And that's not yet unlocked. Hmm. Yeah, I must have been in the factory, maybe. How do I get back? But that's so cool. <laughs> Please. Now that we have the drink, let's talk to the bartender. Hey customer, the access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private biz is going on there. It has been reserved by some blazer guy, I think. Oh. Oh. Where's that? And what were they doing? That was Blazer, right? What is that? Oh! Um. Yeah, sure. DJ? I have new music. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't have one actually. <laughs> I want all your processes boosted to the max. <laughs> that is so much better. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
twisted DJ now. <laughs> You're literally scratching the case. <laughs> Which is the hologram? <laughs> That's funny. You now we can play the music again. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> that was not so good. I want you to destroy that dance floor! here for some oil let's scratch one more time Thank <laughs> you. 
Please go cat. Okay, but doesn't help. Um Okay. We have to create a path, don't we? What does that do? Those two come down. And that back there comes yeah, okay. They go down, that goes up. Or vice versa. Good. Now, these two are down. We need that. Yeah, we need those. Exactly. Isn't that already? Perfect. Oh, oh. Who's that guy? <laughs> Who are you? I have a very good relationship with the sentinels. I don't understand why people complain so much about them. I don't think I will be interested in what you have to give me. I already have access to everything. Rough. Uh oh. Let me dance now, please. So that that's a rich guy. Who is he? And why does he know Blazer? Or why does Blazer know him? There's more music. Can we read that? Zero one zero one one zero zero zero. Uh, interesting. There's a shirt. Okay. There are not many people here in the VIP lounge. So what's the fun about that? Did you like me DJing? Tied up. <laughs> no. Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. What a traitor! Business is money. And I value money more, way more, than friendship or camaraderie. They're all yours. Uh oh. She's sweating. Me too. No. Zapdos. Who did? No! The, what is in a tiny cage? Oh no! Oh, that is... That is not okay. Oh, oh, I know what we can do. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, calm down, calm down. I end the episode here. And uh, in the next episode, I'm pretty sure we will get three. Thank you so, so much for watching this episode. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.